hi guys in this video I'm going to show you how this tool actually works so mm, this is the configuration file which you can see and it asks you for few parameters like program name input file delay duration load DLL start address at end address so program name is the you need to provide the full program name here and the next thing is input file you need to provide the input file which is causing the crash and delay duration here is one second which means that uh, that the script will actually run this application for one second and it will monitor the target application for any type of access violation uh, load dll load dll functionality is not there right now uh, in future i have a plan to implement it and the uh, last two parameters we are interested is start address and end address so the start address uh, we are going to collect these two parameters from uh, any debugger of our choice so in this case i'm going to use immunity debugger so let's attach our target application with the debugger first so now our application is running next thing I am going to do is attach the application with the debugger as you can see it's attached and now it's running under the debugger now I am going to open this one.gif file as you can see we have a crash oh sorry I guess As you can see, we have just crashed at this point and it's a read access violation crash. It's trying to read from offset of EAX and EAX is pointing to some invalid memory location. So that is why it's crashing. So uh, we need to find out the entry point of this function and the exit point of this function. So immunity debugger can actually help us identify uh, the entry point and the exit point if you follow this gray line left side of debugger it will take you to the entry point of this function as you can see it's also setting up the stacks for local variables so just simply copy and paste it here and you need to put it in hex format so we have the start address and the same way you can find the end address you need to follow the line in left side and this is the exit point of this function just copy it and paste it here and remove the unnecessary part so our configuration file is complete now it's time to run the application run the python script so the immunity debugger is not required right now so we'll close it so now i'm going to run this python script uh, it's just asking you to reconfirm all this given parameter values so I'm going to continue as you can see it's running as you can see the target has just crashed and if you refresh you can see that a new JS file is, crea is created and it has few, quite a lot of debugging information and disassembly of this given range address range and this is the final report which is the completely static part you can see this it includes the final.js file uh, so it's time to open this report with our web browser so i'm going to open this with the latest version of chrome it's recommended that you uh, open this report with the latest your latest web browser 
so this is the final output as you can see we have the control flow graph of this particular function and now you can have a better understanding of the how how the execution is going on inside this function so here you can see that it's a loop from this it is clear that it's a loop and another thing which is pretty interesting that uh, this portion of this function is never getting executed so we can actually ignore this part so it will actually reduce our reverse engineering effort you can it it also gives you the, uh, the uh, many debugging information just like uh, for if you consider this inst uh, instruction move edi ebp and this will tell you that edi is that that point of time edi actually pointing to this position and it was actually pointing to a hip pointing to hip so uh, it gives you many interesting information and it will actually help you to debug many crashes so that's it hope you have enjoyed this video